Greetings from the mountains of Colombia. My name is Jimmy Weisskopf. The name of the series is Ayahuasca Express. Hello, this is Jimmy Weisskopf again, speaking from the mountains of Colombia. And uh, it is a great privilege to have my friend and my guide, Michael Tausig. Michael is a professor of anthropology at the school where I studied, Columbia College, Columbia University in New York and he was one of the first anthropologists to investigate Yahé or Ayahuasca in Colombia. So, Michael, the question is this. What changes have you seen 1970s, what? It's 40, 50 years, 40 years since I started, 30 years since I started, you longer. You're in touch with a lot of indigenous people, uh, you keep up to date with the field. What changes have you seen in this period? Hi, Jimmy. Hi, everybody. Uh, I, I, I had a long uh, interview with Peter Wilson, Peter Lamborn Wilson, years ago, yeah. and he typed it up. And I, t I took a pretty conservative sort of view, and Peter took the opposite point of view. He was all for it. Let, let our waska go wherever it might. Uh, free market sort of uh, attitude. And I, I kept thinking of the times I'd take, taken a, in the Guamwes River on the border between Ecuador and uh, Colombia and uh, d deep in the forest where you don't eat anything for a day or two, the monkeys up on high throwing <laughs> things at you, uh, a, a straw, uh, a palm thatch roof, no walls, a tiny fire, uh, middle-aged to elderly, um, uh, uh, um braggart shirt, no feathers, no beads, barefoot, uh, old pair of shorts. You know, now I look at the, uh, the that's what I was attached to, and I, I felt it was miserable that it would spread out and uh, run the risk of all the things you've uh, just mentioned, plus plenty, plenty more. Um, so that pamphlet exists, Peter Lamborn Wilson and uh, Michael Tausig, it's online and you'll see I come over as a, I'm the younger one and I come <laughs> over as a pretty crusty conservative saying uh, I don't like it, I wish it wasn't going to go that way, but it went that way. Um, so I'm sort of rooted in the past and I had a student uh, who went to uh, uh, take ayahuasca with the Shipibo in Peru about five years ago and um, she had uh, an illness, uh, a chronic illness, and um, my sense from what she told me, because we were pretty close, was that she was m massively exploited uh, and uh, that uh, the Shipibo, it seems to me, have a pretty bad reputation for uh, shamans fucking young girls who go there. <laughs> Uh, the, the occasional rape, uh, I've been yeah. it's been reported to me personally, um, a whole bunch of things. So th when you talk about commercialization, it's not simply just the money, it's the influx of uh, uh, people searching for adventure and uh, quite right, rightly, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful and wonderful thing. Uh, I was turned on years and years ago before I went to the uh, Putumayo by a book called uh, uh, best-selling title, uh, Wizard of the Upper Amazon by F. Bruce Lamb, who was a, a, a wood engineer, a, a forest engineer, whatever they might be yeah. called, I think from the University of Michigan where I was teaching. And he bumped into a guide called uh, Co Manuel Cordovo Rios. Gee, yeah, and it's a, I was a beautiful book. I mean, I was really turned on by the mystery and romance of this. So this book must have been at least 60, 70 years old, uh, and that was one of the triggers. The other trigger for me was uh, Barrows and Ginsberg's Yahé Letters, uh, most of which, 95% uh, of those letters, uh, were made up. They're not letters. Oh. Uh, Allen Ginsberg has a beautiful letter which uh, really took my breath away, but I think they chose the um, uh, conceit of, of letter writing to one another to make a, a, a fabulous little book. So that was, uh, that was very important and that's amongst my friends that was uh, 
somewhat known, and that was all that was available. The um, uh, I have seen changes uh, among the younger generation that I know, and I think you know a lot more than me. Um, there you go, uh, jungle towns uh, in, in the Putumayo, a young shaman might have um, uh, the furniture is painted all white. It looked like, I think, an imitation of a, of a fantasy of a doctor's surgery. Uh, each person has a plastic bail, a, ma a pail uh, to vomit into. I mean, it's like so gross uh, as compared with uh, being in the forest, vomiting where you want to, shitting where you want to sort of thing. I, I couldn't believe it. And uh, lots of beads and uh, cascabeles and uh, feathers and all that sort of stuff like you uh, trying to uh, manufacture authenticity when, as I described before, someone who really knows and has been through the mill doesn't need that stuff really. But it, in order to come across as the uh, um, uh, wild Indian who knows about Yahweh,